कंटेस्टेंट इज सी ए कंटेस्टेंट नंबर नाइन सी ए हर्षित मालवीय जी हर्षित जी यस गुड इवनिंग सर ऑडिबल यस ओके या यू आर ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल एंड योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ ओके सर आई एम शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन राइट नाउ Okay, so good evening. Myself, C. Harshit Malviya. I am from Delhi, Chhattisgarh. And my today's topic is automating preparation of financial statement for non-corporate entities from trial balance using VBA and Chat GPT. And the problem statement is the manual financial statement preparation is time consuming and error prone. And ICI predefined format involves uh, multiple level of linking in the notes from trial balances, and every change in trial balance uh, requires. Uh, uh linking and the solution i came up with is automated mapping using vba macros that pulls data from trial balance matches to correct note sheets and applies logic for asset class movement type etc for the pp and i used chat gpt which assisted me in writing and refining the vba code and benefits for ca professionals it saves uh, it saves hours of uh, manual effort and shows consistency and accuracy and auto updates ici compliant balance sheet and profit and loss account easy to reuse for future years and clients and the key outcome from this uh, use case is uh, from raw trial balance to formatted financial statements in minutes logic fully customized to excel sheet structure and uh, so i'll uh, share that excel sheet right now this is the format of the balance sheet This is the format of the balance sheet for non-corporate entity. So no figures are coming in uh, right now here. So there are six uh, sheet tabs for the notes to accounts. Like uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, this is the trial balance that I exported from Tally. Uh, I use only closing balances uh, because I am assuming that my client is uh, in the first year of uh, his uh, preparing the balance sheet. So I'm not taking opening balances right now because of time constraint. So this is the trial balance like ledger name, debit and credit. And for uh, these debit and credit figures, I have to map these to the notes to accounts This in these six sheets. So I have note headings and note subheadings from uh, these notes. Like uh, this note number four to six of the balance sheet shows the reserves and surplus. So this is the note heading for me. And capital reserve, revaluation reserve, other reserve, and undistributed surplus is note subheading. So in this uh, drop down sheet, uh, I created a flow of all the note headings and note subheadings and the sheet name where it will go. So, like reserve and surplus, it has four sub note headings like capital reserve, revaluation reserve, other reserve, and undistributed surplus. And this borrowings, uh, note number four to six in the borrowings. So uh, this uh, note heading is uh, a quite uh, difficult, like uh, this is the main note heading and then secured, then term loan. So because of this, the VBA uh, cannot be generated. So I created in column number M, uh, my uh, note heading like borrowings, secured, term loans, and then borrowings, sec secured, loans repayable on demand. And uh, in these intersecting cells, like from banks, this is my note subheading. So suppose I want to put figures in here. So the VBA code will work like uh, uh, it will search for note heading borrowings secured loans repayable on demand. And uh, from this column number B, it will search from banks and uh, put the figure in the intersecting cell, this one. So my code will work like that. And uh, this note heading and note subheading, you have to do the manual uh, mapping for this. And I created this drop down, so nothing has to be typed in here. Just we have to select that owner's capital account, 
and uh, if you select owner's capital account it will show only related notes of headings which needs to be come in the in this note heading and for pp you can see there is a different format of the uh, note for the pp like uh, uh, if in other notes there are uh, generally basically two columns for the 31st march 25 and 31st march 24 but in note to bs it's a different format so for the purpose of this mapping I created four more columns here, like asset class, uh, movement type, block, and asset category. These four columns can be used only for the PP uh, node. So I'll uh, run a macro now. So you can see no figures are in there. Okay. So mapping is completed. And all the figures from trial balance are now coming to the balance sheet and there is no difference in balance sheet. So this is the column where I check the difference. And the profit and loss account, it's a loss making firm. And this loss will automatically go here in uh, undistributed surplus. And there's no opening capital, only capital contributed during the year and intervals. And one care should be taken here in the PP uh, note because in my trial balance, uh, uh, these uh, PP figures are net of depreciation, like it's a net block. So I have to, if you see that uh, office equipment, it says uh, 1 lakh 94, 5414. But here you can see that it's a two lakh eighteen thousand five eighty nine. So the reason being is that I added this one lakh ninety four thousand ninety five thousand, and the depreciation amount here. Depreciation amount for office twenty three thousand. So it becomes the total and gross block. So it's like that. So with the help of this, we can uh, prepare the balance sheet in the prescribed format in minutes. Just mapping will take some time. So any questions, sir? So are you done, Harshit? Yes, sir. Okay. Any question from you, Akhil, first? Uh, sir, firstly, I wanted to understand where this trial balance was extracted from using a TDL ODBC or from... No, sir, just, just exporting in Excel file from Tally. Okay, so you exported that trial bell, tel, uh, debit yes. credit and everything that we have. Yes, yes, yes. We okay. can link it with the TDL also, but uh, in this uh, coding, it is not there. Okay, and this sheet mapping, it was done by you manually or... The sheet mapping is done manually, but this drop down is coming with the help of VBA code. Okay, because drop down this has to be done manually you anyhow. Mentioned it in the list, right? Hmm. You created yes. a drop down. Yes, yes, I created this drop down list from all the nodes, combining all the nodes for note heading and notes are heading and sheet name. Okay. Yeah, Deepak sir. So uh, the thing is, uh, we have to go back to uh, every sheet and create note, right? Uh, no, sir. Just oh, we have to run nah, the VBA you, code you told, and all the notes told, will get nah, nah, You told us that. You told us that. Nah? Using VBA, we have pulled all the notes, right? If uh, uh, am, am I understanding it correctly? Uh, no, sir. In this okay. dropdown, I created this map, like note heading, note subheading, and sheet name. And from this right. dropdown, this mm -hmm. list of note heading and subheading are coming in. The so it is basically list. it is basically a list which is linked to your drop down menu, right? Yes, yes, yes. So drop down menu has been uh, prepared manually, right? No, sir. Drop down menu is prepared manually. 
okay but is coming in the trial balance from the vba code no but why so, do we need vba code for that so uh, can't, otherwise can't how can we select it uh, like uh, if if i want to trade papers sundry creditors trade paper so i right. will click on this drop down and this right. trade paper will come and again so, for the note subheading only the related the note subheading for the trade paper will appear here like total that, outstanding that is okay record. that is okay but using name manager i can't also achieve this why do i need vba for this that that's what i'm trying to understand okay. i i not tried that one sir okay and coming to your balance sheet let's let's go back to the balance sheet mm -hmm. so uh, these numbers these numbers are linked to your notes right yes and the no in the notes can you can you go back to note 1.3 Yes. So these numbers again, you have uh, uh, created all these numbers manually. These formulas have been created manually. This formula is only created manually, but these uh, inner figures are coming automatically from the VBA code. Okay. Okay. And again, so why do we need VBA code here? Why can't we use XLOOKUP or SUMIF or something like that, which is inbuilt uh, within the Excel? Why do we need? And I'm just trying to understand. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying that. It's not possible. What I'm trying to understand why why you have not used that part. Because you see, even though I can see the figures here, two seven five one three five one, right? But yes. there is no there is no trail per se. So I really don't know from where this uh, I mean this these numbers are coming from my trial balance. So if, okay. if let's say I would like to create a trial, I mean an audit trail. So we can the, create audit source, trail with the VB also, sir. We have to change some coding, but we can do that. I think I may I may not be able to. Uh, uh, so again, uh, so you said that it is coming from trial balance, right? Yes. You so can if, see if that I look at seventy five two crore so, seventy five thousand in the trial balance here. So can you can uh, you go back the... to that note, please? Yes. So you see, generally, generally, what I have seen, uh, you are also a practicing chart account. I am also a practicing chart account, right? Mm -hmm. So in general, the trial in trial balance only the only the balancing figures are there. For a capital accounts, let's say in a capital account there are tens of movements. There is a yes. capital introduction, there is a drawing, there is so and so, there is so and so, right? And yes, ultimately, yes, yes. only the closing balance numbers are there in my trial balance. Hmm. So in that scenario, how would this tool would capture those movements? So the walk, the walk of the capital hmm. account, how how that would be captured in the absence of uh, those numbers in your trial balance? Sir, you can add uh, any number of rows here in the drop down based mm -hmm. on your selection, but you have to select that this note heading and subheading according to the format of the uh, uh, whatever uh, mentioned here, like remuneration, interest, withdrawal, share of profit and all those things. So let's say I have, I have, I have, let's say 10 partners. Mm -hmm. So how this tool would automatically capture details of all those 10 partners automatically. You have created four rows, right? So, so let's if, say the, if I have, that I have... is present in trial balance, then that can be done. No, have you done it or it or I know it can be done, but can it can it be done right away, or do you need to again uh, redevelop it? I need to again redevelop it, sir, because okay. I prepared this uh, for from the proprietor's point of view, not okay. partner's point of view. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any question from you, Dhawalji? No, not not really. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Arshit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Arshit ji. Thank you, sir.